Ben Simmons, and Joel Embiid that will forever change the face of your franchise. These days, it feels like 1983 in South Philly. The Spurs control the tap. Paul. Let's it fly from long range. Creates the space to bury the three on the step back. It is extremely prevalent right now for three-point shooters because of the skill set at every position is that versatile. Even your fives and fours can knock down threes at a high clip. It's a world of great three-point shooters and great three-point shooting teams. Shot by Lowry misses. Here's Paul. Brings it up the floor. And look out. Feed the big fella. Point to the passer. So good when you get everybody involved, in particular your bigs. You get them going, they'll run the court faster, and guess what? They'll set harder screens because they're actually in the game. With the interception. I'm hearing some boos from the crowd. They know just like I know, you're not getting back on D. Oh, a lot of contact. Shots no good and no foul. Well, you can't finish with your right hand on the left side of the rim. You actually have to use your opposite hand. Steve Nash is one of the best at this. Different shots at different... Stuffs it down with authority. <sighs> that probably won't be the last time we see a dunk from him tonight. Maybe sometimes you should send a message. Give him a hard foul. Don't let it be so easy. Paul. The Spurs with four in the shot clock. Paul. For three. Buries it on the catch and shoot. That shot was nice. But that pass, that was the real highlight. Good teams always find a way to get the best shot available. Lowry. To MB. Whoa! What a finish! Gotta love the rim rockers. Gotta be careful though. Don't hang on the rim too long. You might get a T. Spurs have it. Number zero. To Paul. Five to shoot for San Antonio. From long range, he made his first effort, but not that time. Just because you're an elite shooter doesn't mean you need to shoot the ball every possession. Maybe give a head fake, crack into the defender, get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the hole. Joel Embiid, three for three. That's a perfect start. Old school equals high percentage. Now Paul with the basketball. Leads a bucket. Over to the right side. Paul cashes in. Someone has to get into a zip code. There's a sixth sense there that you just can't teach. If you're a player on the same team with CP3, you should be taking that point guard out to dinner every single night. There's something to be said about it. Oh, Blocked away! That one's in the 15th row. Huge denial. Looks like both teams are making substitutions. Embiid. Zach Collins snatching it out of the air. Right now, San Antonio's possession. Lays it up and in. Hand down, man down. You got to get up and contest the shot. Across the timeline, it's Lowry. 12 to 6, our score. Embiid to Lowry. Chance for the process. That's rebounded by San Antonio. Paul into the front court. Exactly a minute to go here in the opening quarter. Here comes the screen. Paul. 4-3. 
Well defended. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. From the outside, no good. Here's Paul, controlling the offense. Shot clock winding down. Can't connect. Late heave to beat the buzzer. First quarter's complete. The Spurs have the lead. one quarter down both sides getting a feel for where this game is going I really like what I'm seeing both teams look engaged there's some trash talking going on the court I think this has a making to be a big time game scores from the post Paul into the front court the score 12 to 8 Gets it in the left corner. Paul. Ooh, Chris Paul. He's two for two now. Ooh, that confidence level is so superior. Whenever you start jacking back on defense before the ball even goes through the net, that speaks for itself. To Drummond. Gets to the basket and scores. Uh, I'm not sure that wasn't an offensive foul, but take it when you can get it. Spurs in possession. Sizing up the defense. Andre Drummond pins it. Just erasing mistakes left and right. Ooh, Chris Paul. That's three now on four shots. You normally don't see that, but that's the type of thing that keeps shooters in the league for a long time. Every once in a while, they venture into the paint. To Batum. Trying to cash in. The rebound taken by San Antonio. Paul across the timeline. Lead stance at seven. Rebound Covington. Batum to Drummond. Nice pace, sets it up, and slams it down. Jay, I'm surprised he had a chance to wrap him up. Well, you're not the only one surprised. This guy is not a good free throw shooter. You never let him have an easy bucket. If anything, make him earn it at the charity strike. Both coaches hitting the reset button. Fresh legs coming onto the floor. Entering the game for the 76ers. Number eight, Paul George. Paul. Oh, he had it. I agree. I thought there was a foul, but also it's all about your approach. You can't come down the lane and jump off one leg. It's called a power lift. Go up two legs and expect the contact. With the rock, it's Chris Paul. The ah, rock in the rim. Well, they have such great flow to their offense this evening. The ball isn't sticking to one player individually. It's moving around the perimeter, and it's zipping. They're playing with a special cohesiveness. To Covington. Drummond. 
has a chance. A shot no good by Harris. Nice follow-up on the dunk there. It's so amazing when you get a chance to see a player in his own space. It's almost as if the defense doesn't exist. He can go left, he can go right, he can attack. He's playing on that court by himself. Screen coming. Oh, great pass. Setting up the basket. I love the drive to the basket there. Instead of trying to go around or over, go through. To Covington. Harris goes to the left side. Paul George to Drummond. The big fella, Andre Drummond. He's now five for six. And if you don't contest, he's knocking that down with ease. Paul with it up top. Counting down toward a minute to go in this first half. Nothing going here on that drive. Oh, with the foul. And a chance coming up at the line. Aggressive play there, but you can't fault the defender for being up in the shooter. You need to contest shots, each and every one of them. Chris Paul has got two shots coming. A career 86% from the line. First free throw is good. them both. So Lowry. Here comes the screen. Lowry. Blocked away. That's going to be out of bounds. Lowry. To Embiid. From the painted area, won't go down. San Antonio with the basketball. To Paul. Takes stock of the floor. Screen coming. A oh, big finish at the rim. And when you get your prescription, you take your medicine and you call it a day. Lowry into the front court. Now down six. Give him two points. High percentage. Straight on three. At the buzzer. That's it. First half has come to an end. The Spurs have the lead. that sixth sense that you just can't teach. He's like a traffic cop, and he's navigating a myriad of bodies coming his way. And there's a smaller innuendo of the game that nobody talks about. When he makes a great pass, he'll tell the offensive player, shoot it, go up, dunk it. He will direct you and lead you to success. Here's Paul. Brings it up the floor. Oh. Another follow stays out. Seems like a lot of contact on that play. If I were that player, I would pull the ref over to the side 
talk to him, express to him how much contact there was so he could look for that same foul call potentially the next time down the court. Lowry, deep left corner to Tobias Harris. To Paul. Tobias Harris rejects it. Sent a message on that one, Ed. MB to George. Here comes the screen. Paul George. Wide open look won't go. Here's Paul controlling the offense. Has a look. Shot by Paul won't go. To Lowry. Here comes the screen. Lowry. To Paul George. Gets a look. Can't hit. Now Paul with the basketball. His team up by seven. Joel Embiid with a piece. Oh, he blocked that with authority. Harris. Fires the three. He was all over. And look, sometimes you don't have it going every single night. Maybe utilize yourself as a decoy and get some teammates involved with your passing. Nothing going here on that drive. Short jumper won't go down. To Lowry. Well done, Kyle Lowry. Small sample size, but making the most of it. He's one for two. Oh, don't see the read. Be the read. San Antonio ball. To Paul. Curling inside, Paul. Almost, but no good. for both sides. Substitutions, Philadelphia. Paul into the front court. Leads five. Trying to cash in. Knocks it down on the step back. That was not easy. Sixers have the basketball. Lowry to Tobias Harris. Screen coming. Harris. Probing the defense to Drummond. Has a chance. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. Paul into the front court. Up five. Knocks it down. Off the step back. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Oh, ferocious slam inside. Deep three at the buzzer. That ends the third quarter. The Spurs have the lead.
It's the Spurs with the basketball as we begin the fourth quarter, and they'll be looking to finish strong. And when you play stingy defense on one end, the other end takes care of itself. Paul. Shot from the lane, won't go. Oubre to George. And a rim rocker, Joel Embiid. That's what I'm talking about. Nice finish. It's all business. Spurs have it. To Paul. Joel Embiid sends it away. Blocking so many shots only gives your perimeter that much more confidence to really apply more pressure. And he scores. They took a big step, but they'll count the bucket. And last year, it seemed like PG really had a difficult time finding that next level elite PG. No doubt about it. This year, he needs to be playoff P all day, every day. And Chris Paul, he's been doing that for years. Wide open look, and he buries it. And if you're on D right now, if you're off on the weak side, stunt towards the driver. That means fake at him. Don't overcommit. Stunt, then get back to your stay at home. Force him to make one of those passes or force him to take a crazy shot at the rim. Come here, come here. George. Paul George. Looking good. Four through five. Ed, I have so much admiration for guys that continue to hunt their shot. They're playing the second half like it was the first five minutes of the ball game. Those natural-born leaders are guys that will consistently lead your team to the promised land. Paul. Count it. No and one. There was some contact there. That might have been a little bit easier than expected there, considering the score. Spurs will take the timeout as they'll talk things over here in this fourth quarter. Time to adjust. Both coaches making changes on the floor. Well, you need execution in a chess match. And the best execution, I just saw the star player talk to one of the young fellas. You take those young fellas over to the side. You coach them through some of these big-time moments that happen in the fourth quarter. That's how you get your team ready for the playoffs and hopefully a chance to win a championship. Big finish at the rim. I see the easy dunk, but what I don't see is energy. Scream, do something. Get yourself emotionally involved in the game. Right now, San Antonio's possession. Surveys the floor. Paul. Able to convert inside. You've heard it before. Slow and steady wins the race. This approach might be working out after all. Lowry with it. All tied up. Just underway in this fourth quarter. Finishes at the rim. You know, Ed, I'm down with guys having 35, 40, maybe 50 points in the game. But the one thing you look for in a defensive end, when there's a huddle after a guy has dropped multiple buckets on you in a row, and everybody's quiet, nobody stands up and says, yo, I got him, I'm going to stop him, you're in a worrisome place for your team. Gets it in the left corner. To Tobias Harris. Tobias Harris above the rim. Now whistle. San Antonio is going to use a timeout. That's their first. Leaves them with one remaining the rest of the way. Both coaches dipping into their reserves. Changes coming onto the floor. Off the assist. And Ed, here's my offensive theory. More touches, more points. This is a fast-paced lead. Either the coaches adapt, or you'll be left behind. Screen coming. To Lowry. The Sixers with four to shoot. Has a look. Lowry with a shot that's no good. Paul across the timeline. His group now down two. Right, 
Trying to cash in. Deep two there. Won't go. I'm not sure that the contest on the shot contributed to the miss, but what it might have done is seep into the confidence of the shooter that the next time he might decide to try to drive to the rim instead of settling for a jump. Five on the shot clock for Philadelphia. Unbothered by the defense as he drills it. The defender needs to do a better job of forcing a pickup there. Spurs will take the timeout. They'll need a quick shot and then likely a quick foul in what is now a two-possession game. It's Paul for two with the step back. There's the whistle and an intentional foul. Just their first in the final two minutes, so no free throws yet. They'll take the ball out of bounds. Too close to call right now. We're in clock management mode. That was a good play. The Sixers are victorious as they win a close one by two.